rausbringen, wie zurück und zwar in der Anzahl 82. Ich meine, das Zimmer ist, ist, ist um, you know, a series, an ongo we hope ongoing series of, of um, exhibitions that, that, that draw on Mario's collection. So the first one was in Lima in Peru, where, where Mario comes from. Um, it was staged his foundation. Um, that that show uh, focused more on, um, on on painting and sculpture. Uh, there wasn't very much photography at all. Um, so we almost we almost eliminated photography from it. And um, the, the, the the space there is 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 um, divided into a number of smaller rooms. So each each room became its own environment. Um, it was very heavily designed with a lot of colour and a lot of graphics. Um, so it still it still spoke to the way in which Mario sort of interacts with his art and the way it interacts with, with, with his life and his existence, the existence of a photographer and, and, and um, you know in the magazine world and that kind of thing. Um, but it was a very it was a very different different show with very different pieces. So I don't think there are any pieces in the show that in the Koteca that, that were in in the first edition. You know, what was exciting for me was to, to create a create a uh, installation that really reflected Mario, the way that Mario lives with art. And the way that that, that his collection and the way that he takes photographs um, the, ones that, the ones that we know interact. Um, so the way the way that we've done this here is to overlay his collection, um, which, are, which are photographs like these, on images of his own work. So already they're they're they're, they're put in they're put in dialogue with one another. And I think the other interesting thing about this. Um, is that the, the, the inspiration for this particular installation came from um, came from a Brazilian architect actually, um, who solved a problem of, of, of how to show art in a space with no walls because she she had it was a glass building at the, the Museum of Art in Sao Paulo by creating glass panels and hanging singular pictures on it. What was interesting about that is you start to see the back of the picture. So it also has, it also starts to narrate itself and they become their own things. And one of the things that I liked about going this route is that it makes the, the, the photographs from the collection very material. You, you feel that you can, you, can, you can handle them. You can see the back, you can, you, it's as if you're living with them. And that was important.